One of golf's top amateur talents is now a professional golfer. His name is Maverick McNeely. By the way, his dad, big in Silicon Valley, and his dad gave him a choice. Look, you've gone to Stanford. You've got a choice. You can go into business or you can be a golfer. And if you're going to be a golfer, you're going to turn pro. Well, he is a pro, and he's with us now, and his name is Maverick McNeely. Welcome to the show, Maverick. How you doing? Good. Thanks for having me this morning. Do you have a PGA Tour card? I do not. I have a, a web.com tour card, which is one level below the PGA Tour. Um, but I do have five more sponsors invites on the PGA Tour in 2018. And uh, if I play really well in those, there's a chance I could uh, jump straight to the PGA Tour this year. So that's what you really want to do. You want to jump to that's where the money is. Am I right? It is, but you know, it, I think one of the main reasons I'm doing this is because I want to be the best I can possibly be, sure. and um, sure. I feel like I haven't uh, reached that level yet through college and amateur golf. So, um, you know, the dream is one day to be world number one. Well, Maverick, I know your dad very well, and he's a very competitive guy, and I'm sure that's exactly what he said to you. By the way, can you shoot consistently under par? Consistently. That's the plan. Yeah, <laughs> I know that's, that's uh... the plan, but can you do it? I, I can. It depends on the golf course, but uh, U.S. Open, that'd be a bit more of a task, but yes, I can. Would you consider a round of, say, 69 bad, weak, under average? <laughs> depends how many under I was through 16. No, I don't get but, that. I don't understand that. No. Explain that. Yeah. <laughs> if, I was, if I was 600 through 16, I'd be very frustrated. If I was even par through 16, I'd, I'd be ecstatic. Okay, but, I got it. All right. Yeah. Now then, uh, you've got several sponsors already, I think. What do you got? You've got Callaway Golf. You've got Under Armour, KPMG, I think. You've got all of those. But you're not yet on the PGA actual tour itself. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good going if you've got sponsors like that. How did you get those sponsors? Well, I'm, I'm pretty fortunate through my uh, collegiate and amateur career to have uh, had the opportunity to uh, pick a couple fantastic sponsors. Um, I did my research, did my homework, and uh, was very fortunate to have a lot of choices. And uh, in picking sponsors, um, I, authenticity was extremely important. I wanted my uh, three primary uh, partners to be very much aligned with what I was interested in. So. Uh, Under Armour, I love being the underdog. I love their American-based business and, and the way they go about things. Um, Callaway Golf, I, when I visited and toured their facility, I was blown away by their R&D and their processes. And I was thinking in a couple of years, I'd want to be playing their golf clubs because it's, it's going to be the best by far. Well, and uh, KPMG is actually a really interesting one for me to wear on the front of my hat. Um, you know, I, I'm very excited because part of what I do with them is get to know their clients, which are all... <laughs> For the most no part, wonder, Fortune 2000 Maverick, CEOs. No and, wonder they're sponsoring um, it, it you. Really, uh, You've just it, delivered. It, it ties into what <laughs> most of the people in my major at Stanford did. Industrial engineering went into consulting. Okay, okay, so, okay, okay, okay. Um, okay. It, Look, it no, kind of satisfies the business interest. No I have wonder as well. you got these sponsors. You've just delivered three terrific commercials, absolutely free. That's pretty good, young man. That really is. I've got one last one for you. There's a growing yeah. question, I am told, in the sport of golf, about whether golf balls should fly a shorter distance. I believe time. Tiger Woods uh, says yeah, may, they should fly a shorter distance. What do you say? Well, um, I think that would certainly make a lot of sense from a real estate perspective. It, um, it's difficult to build new golf courses that are that long. Um, I also think that it would make a lot of the old golf courses that are um, some of the more famous designs a lot more uh, applicable today. Um, an interesting example is in, in college we played Cypress Point, known as one of the top five golf courses in the world. and um, it, you know, it, it was really a lot of the hazards and troubles and bunkers um, weren't really in play for us, uh, college kids, because we're now flying the ball 300 yards in the air, which is about 50 yards longer than maybe when the golf course Remarkable. was built. So I, gotta um, jump I don't in think it's a terrible idea. I've got to run some real commercials, you know, commercials of our own <laughs> that we get paid for here, so I'm going to cut this short. Maverick, the best of luck to you, okay? You're a fine young man, and I, I like your dad, too. And uh, have a great Thanksgiving, okay? I'll see you awesome. soon. Awesome. Thank you very much. Yes, sir.